didn't really film anything of the waistcoat so far, other than the fact that I got really freaked out by the sewing machine, but I am having to hand sew this bit down because the raw edge is in there. Raw edge for this is also in there and hand sewn all the way along this. We're now doing the collar and I've got to do the other side. Yay! Oh yay! Beads! So the lining is now attached and I'm just hand sewing the bottom part of the facing and then bottom time. Okay, here's a crown hole. We have this forestry wire, this forestry wire in copper because I want, I want it to match my patterns. We have felt to line the thing because I think I will probably just help it be grippy. Uh, we then have plier things, cutty things. I'm also making myself an earring, maybe a pair of earrings. I don't know yet using these. Probably use a, like a pearl bead as well that I have. Um, we then have A, B, seed beads don't know i think they're the size eight beads they're clear ones i like the shiny um we then have the rest of the not the rest of the beads all of these beads are i don't know how you say the name it's like preciosa or something but that's what these ones are um these are the same in light amethyst amethyst even um we have topaz ones and they all have the ab coating on because I like shiny stuff, and then we just have these are technically gold, but when they when they're put with this, it, it, I mean, they look okay. And I'm also going to use that for an embroidery project at some point. But yeah, I got all the beads and hook things from uh, the bead shop in Nottingham, but I ordered these in because we don't exactly live in a decent distance from Nottingham to be able to justify going there to buy the beads. Um, I mean, these are my dad's, and then the rest of the stuff came from Hobbycraft. And now I get to make a crown. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wear this.